So one of the things you may want to do after you uh, create a test or quiz is to deploy that test or quiz to two separate groups of, of students. Uh, the first group is a general uh, class who will all have a certain amount of time to complete that test. Um, and then the other group is going to be a group of students who have special needs. Um, they're likely students who have identified themselves uh, as having learning disabilities or working with the Renilla Learning Center, uh, but they may need, need some additional time on the test. And so uh, this video is going to walk you through how to um, deploy the test to both sets of students at the same time. Um, so the first step is to go into site info in your course. And then um, basically you need to identify those students uh, within a group uh, of your NECA site. So from site info, we're going to go up to manage groups, and uh, you'll see that I have a group that I've already created, and these are students who are going to need 1.5 uh, times the the amount of time to complete the test. So if it's a 10-minute test, this group is going to need 15 minutes to complete that test. Um, and so if you want to create a new group, you can do that just by clicking on create new group up here. Um, but I can click on edit to edit this specific group if I wanted to add additional students. Um, I can do that. I would just click the student's name from this box and, and uh, press the right facing arrow to move them over. Uh, once you're done, you can click on the update button at the bottom. And basically what you want to do first is take all of the students that need those accommodations and put them into a group. And then we're going to deploy the test to that specific group. Um, so once we've got the group set up, we can go back into tests and quizzes. And you'll see that I've got a couple quizzes already set up here. Uh, I can click on this quiz here and go to settings. And these are the settings that you're going to access when you deploy the test to the rest of the class as well. Um, everything on this page is going to be identical to how you set it up for the other group of students, except for two items. Um, and those items are uh, under the assessment release to. This by default is everybody in that class, but what you can do is you can choose selected groups and just choose the students in that group that we created for those students with the learning, um, uh, uh, learning uh, additional needs. And then once you've set that, you can then go into the timed assessment and extend the time for those students to however long you need to give them. Um, again, if it's a 10 minute quiz initially, these students are going to get 15 minutes. Basically what will happen is these students will uh, go into the tests and quizzes tool and they'll actually see two tests and quizzes. Uh, they'll see one deployed to the entire class and then they'll see one for specifically for them. Um, those students who do not have these special needs uh, are only going to see one test because this, this additional test is not going to be deployed to them. Um, the other thing you need to set is under grading. If you typically have these grades sent to the NECA gradebook automatically, you need to not do that for this specific quiz. Um, that's because uh, NECA will automatically create an item in the gradebook for all students, even those students who this test does not pertain to. So what you want to do is you want to choose none under gradebook options, and then after the test is over, you actually want to go in and manually enter those grades into the gradebook for those students. Um, that's really the best way of, of deploying this test for students who have um, additional uh, accommodations.